The next topic as we kind of step through the mortgage process is what people in the mortgage industry call quality control. There's a very big human element in the process of assembling a loan file and there's a lot of opportunity for human error. For example, suppose I'm taking your loan application and I ask you how much your income is and you say $30,000 and so dutifully I write down $30,000. Except I write it down in the space marked monthly income. So now I'm, I've taken what you said, what you think is an annual income and turned it into a monthly income and so I've multiplied your income by 12. That's just one example of the many types of errors that can creep in in assembling a mortgage loan file. And, uh, you know, <coughs> so, and there are you know, plenty of reasons for that. Uh, another reason is that the, you don't look for PhDs to be involved in you know, taking loan applications. Uh, a friend of mine who was a high school teacher was surprised uh, when he first took, you know, applied for his first mortgage loan and found that, boy, the person who was taking this application just didn't seem even as bright as my high school students. Well, don't be surprised by that. Um, so the challenge is to train people. You want them to follow strict procedures. You want them to check the appropriate boxes. But sometimes you want to, uh, them to exercise discretion because there are many different ways to document income. We saw that there that underwriting alone involved the three C's of capacity. Um, I call it conscientiousness, and then collateral and there are ways to trade those off against each other. Increasingly over the past uh, 25 years we've gone from a system of allowing discretion to more uh, automated data-driven systems, but even an automated data-driven system you've got to make sure it's only going to be as good as the data that goes into it and if you get you know if you misreport the income and it goes into an automated system you're going to get an outcome that's different than, than what you maybe should be getting. So um, there is a need to check over things and to have you know quality control uh, often in industry it's, it's you inspect something for example you, you inspect a car as it com as it comes off the assembly line and you see whether it's you know fit and uh, it's fit and trim it, it, it looks right but as uh, people like Edwards Deming and other uh, quality improvement experts uh, <coughs> have pointed out that quality really needs to be built in up front so if you design a system to have high quality, that will have much more an impact than the inspection which comes at the end. So you can imagine a whole process of setting up a system where you design it, you do training, and you build systems, and then you, uh, <coughs> you know, have the implementation, and then you finally at the end have inspection. Deming's point is that it's in, it, you have increasingly less impact on the quality of a process the later the intervention is. So if you uh, if you do if you're ineffective here at the design phase, if you design something that's complicated and difficult or just vague. Um, there's no almost no way you can recover that uh, at the inspection process. You're going to have a very expensive in inspection process that's going to be ineffective. On the other hand, if you design something that's you know as foolproof as it can be, and then you train employees very carefully, and then you build systems that have automated checks. Uh, for example, you could have a 
an application system that if somebody writes in thirty thousand dollars for the in income some a message pops up and says are you sure that sounds like an annual income not a monthly income so there are ways to use you know training and systems to try to limit error human error <coughs> then there's the actual implementation process and are you do you, are you putting too much pressure on your workers to uh, do they have too much work to do? Are they, um, you know, do they work in an environment that enables them uh, to work with a lower rate, or you, or do you uh, do you not support them in that? And then finally, there is an inspection process. You do need to go back, and at least on a sample of loans, have some second pair of eyes look at things. Second pair of eyes look at the appraisal. Second pair of eyes look at the application, look at the analysis of the credit report, and then maybe, and if there's human choices involved in the decision, then you've got to have somebody, a second pair of eyes say, well, were, the, were those choices made properly? So this is a process that, you know, people who've never been in any kind of business don't think about, but quality control is a big issue in mortgage lending.